Well, here's a talk that I did for the Detroit Health Club. It's uh, HealthySelfDetroit.org, run by Moselle Lang, an old friend of mine. Best raw pizza you ever tasted in your life. Here you go. Talk on the brain. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Bob McCauley. I own the Watershed Wellness Center in Lansing, Michigan, and I've been in business about Check out all my books on audible.com. About 30 years, and I've been doing this stuff with uh, natural health almost all that time, but at least 25 years. I'm a certified nutritional consultant, a certified master herbalist, and a naturopathic doctor. And, um, you know, but really, I always tell people what I know about health, for the most part, is what I've experienced. So it's 80% experience and 20% book work or looking at videos and studying and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, been doing it a long time, love doing it. It's my life's work, and I enjoy it very, very much. So before I get into my presentation about the brain, the command center of the human body, I uh, just mentioned to you here, I've got now, I've written uh, really six books on health and a few other books as well, but um, um, there, these three books that I've got here are now available on Audible, on audible.com. And so the, the, the spoken versions uh, in my own voice. And uh, the first one I did was my latest book, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. The second one I did is Silver. Uh, this one over here, the, uh, the uh, end of infectious disease, about how I got meningitis and what I used to cure myself for that. That's infectious diseases. And then my most popular book of all time, without doubt, The Miraculous Properties, properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. And there is no, nothing better for your body than water and there's no better water than alkaline ionized water and it is my biggest seller um, I uh, wrote that originally this is the third edition I wrote it originally in 2006 we actually know a lot more about ionized water now than we did uh, then and Dr. Gerald Pollack <clears throat> uh, wrote the fourth phase of water you want to read that book uh, it's kind of a layman's book it's pretty good but he confirmed that alkaline ionized water is found everywhere in nature, even inside your own body. And I won't go into the details because this is a talk about the brain, but uh, that is on Audible now as well. If you can't find them, um, I'll put them in the links below. And so you guys can find um, all the Audible links. But uh, just go to Audible and type Bob McCauley or Dr. Bob McCauley, and it'll come up for sure. So. Um, let's get into the talk, the brain, the brain, the most important part. I mean, if you don't have the brain, well, then your body and your health is worthless to you. Um, you know, for instance, if you get dementia, well, you could be very healthy. Um, I actually, a very, someone I knew very well had dementia, and this person was extremely physically active. Well, it was kind of sad because uh, you see people with Alzheimer's, they can't move around, they can't do anything but he could and then he had dementia so you know it wasn't easy f for uh, you know his family to really take care of him because um, you know he's kind of that in between if you can put him away in a home fine but if you can't and they're active and they can walk around and they can do things and they got a lot of problems thinking this is not good um, so you know they're always looking for a gene for Alzheimer's and that kind of stuff so I'm going to talk about um, what, first of all, what is the brain? The brain is this really spongy material and everything gets caught up into it um, because the brain is made out of fats and acids uh, and that's what uh, the brain wants more than anything else. As we go through these things, you're going to see that the brain um, really, it's just, uh, you know, wants those two elements and um, more than anything else. And if you don't feed those elements to the brain, you're, uh, you're not going to be doing well and that's why you're going to get brain fog. Um, and that's why you're going to get, uh, you know, get dementia. And uh, where does dementia come from? Let's start with that because I want to talk about the cleanliness of the brain and how to clean the brain. First of all, if you get something like Alzheimer's, the problem is, can that can you cure that body or that person of the, of Alzheimer's? So it's possible, but the problem with the brain is that you get dementia. And once you've got dementia, once you've got Alzheimer's, once you've got this stuff, it is just so difficult um, to, you know, tell anybody what to do, uh, you know, walk down the hallway and use the bathroom or just put their shoes on, let alone tell them all the things they need to do to start reversing this disease. So Alzheimer's comes from brain toxicity. And uh, as I said, the brain is like a sponge. So, you know, you've got a lifetime of putting the wrong things into the body. They get up into the brain and they, you know, this this is a very 
huge, uh, you know, storm of chemical activity that's going on every minute. Um, uh, there's all sorts of brain chemicals being made all the time, and um, and so you go put a bunch of things in there that don't belong. Well, those synapses that you see, if you see any brain videos or anything like that, these synapses, I mean, they, they can't, they they don't work. Uh, you live on the wrong diet, and you're not you're not creating new synapses. We're going to talk about that because I've got a product for that. I've got something for that, and uh, and then the old synapses that you have, I mean, they're just you know they're they're just going away. They're not they're misfiring. Uh, they're not coming together at the right space to you know to do this. You know, they, you take a drug, um, and that's what's happening. Like cocaine is a good example. You 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 take a cocaine, and your synapses just keep firing and firing and firing and firing. Well, you know. Uh, that may feel good for a little bit, but this is a really, really dangerous thing, and it's obviously this is not natural. So this is why you want to stay away from any kind of drug that's going to affect your brain. Uh, I don't, I'm not in favor of any of them, um, but um, you know some are worse than others. But at any rate, you want that brain. You want it producing the right chemicals. You want all the electrical, um, inf you know, firing this electrical storm that's going inside the brain, on all the time. Uh, you want that to, to you know. Um, you know, be done correctly. So, you know, it just happened in the right way, the natural way. So we're going to get into a little bit where, you know, why digestive health is so important because, like, for instance, they always say that the, the gut is the second brain, okay? And, in fact, there's a book out there, um, read it a long time ago. It's called The Brain-Gut Connection gut connection and but it just shows you the brain is called the second or the, I'm sorry the stomach is called the second brain and there's a lot of your serotonin in fact almost um, not all of it but a lot of it is created down in the in the in the gut down here so digestive health is critical and so you don't want to be eating, li living on a junk food diet of any kind uh, that's fast foods, processed foods, fried foods. Fried foods are deadly. They're really poisonous. I don't care if you got uh, a frying pan you made at home and using the right kind of oil. Frying foods is just poison you're putting into your body. So processed foods, fast foods, junk foods, all this kind of stuff. I mean, they they get they just destroy your your in fried foods in particular destroy your digestive tract. Um, and so I'm big promoter of probiotics, uh, digestive enzymes, um, and uh, you know, just you know, fermented foods uh, such as like kimchi or uh, sauerkraut. Uh, all it takes is water and salt, and you put it in there for a couple of days. And now you have a fermented food. So it's pretty amazing, and very easy, and extremely healthy. So I'm big into fer fermented foods, um, and you know, acetic acid, which comes from uh, apple cider vinegar, um, and that's the only thing really in apple cider vinegar that's worth anything is the acetic acid. But that's amazing stuff. So once again, uh, an acid, but this one for the digestion. But it's really good for you. I have. Uh, apple cider vinegar every single day. I have my own brand of apple cider vinegar, Dr. Bob's, and then, but you obviously you want the organic apple cider vinegar. Um, and you can find it in any store. I don't need to give a plug for somebody else, um, but most of the stores are even carrying the organic stuff now. If you, you get the stuff that's clear and the Heinz and then that, stay away from that crap. That doesn't do anything for you. So, um, let's get into, first of all, let's talk about the minerals for the brain. So, first of all, um, believe it or not, Platinum. Platinum is excellent for the brain. So there's three main minerals that are going to um, um, do for the. We're going to talk about for the brain. Then we're going to talk about iodine and what that does for the brain as well. But platinum um, is what gives you a lot of mental alertness. You want that first thing in the morning uh, when you wake up. So uh, you know, I take a full spectrum. Uh, this kind of this bottle right here. It's a full spectrum mineral. It's got 26 different minerals. It's going to have everything in there. Uh, if you want to separate them out, these are some of my biggest sellers for minerals. By the way, people really uh, understand how critical the brain is and brain health is. Like I said, you know, if this isn't functioning, you know, it's over for you because you can't have a life. You can't have quality of health, and that's everything I do. Quality of health. Um, you know, so the platinum's number one. That really is best taken in the morning. It's fantastic for the brain. Number two is indium. Indium is for the pineal gland, um, and that's what feeds the pineal gland. Well, that's the, the gland that's in the center of your head, and they call it the third eye because it's right here, and um, they, it what produces melatonin, and also, you know, that kind of tells the body when it's dark, 
and when it's open. I mean, when it's light, so they call it the third eye because they, it, you're supposed to be sleeping at a certain time, which is night. The people who work this third shift, um, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, throughout the night from 11 to like whatever, 7 a.m., been a lot of studies and how, uh, how they really never can adjust to that, those hours in the end. They always are off because that just says your body is always, you know, moving on light. Um, and um, and how you know these cycles, the circadian rhythm of the cycles. Now we we're mentioning the pineal gland. The other, uh, this is in iodine. Iodine for detoxifying or decalcifying the pineal gland, which is in the center of the brain, and uh, very important. That's you know people call it the third eye, the longevity um, um, gland, and iodine. Some does so many things, really. Magnesium is our most important uh, mineral, but in the end, um, really, because that's our heart mineral, and but in the end, it really comes down to iodine. So that's iodine uh, feeding the metabolism all the time. If you don't do that, the entire endocrine system does not function properly, and you have all sorts of problems, including like dry eye. You don't have this internal lubrication, this kind of stuff. So at any rate, uh, very important iodine, but for the pineal, and which is critical to our health. Again, that's that's the one in the center of the brain. So it goes along with the brain health. Very important. Next one is gold, liquid angstrom gold. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, you know these angstrom minerals. What you want to do is take about a capful, or one teaspoon. Take it, hold it in your uh, your mouth under your and hold it under your sublingual under your tongue, and it goes into the body through the sublingual duct and into the body into the blood, and then carried throughout the body. That's where they're most effective. Uh, if you want to know a lot about minerals, my book on silver talks a lot about minerals. I have the minerals broken out if, so they don't interfere with each other from morning, afternoon, evening blends, you know. So if you want to get really technical about it or nerdy or however you want to really get those minerals exactly at the right time, I do have them broken out into that. Um, and uh, But that will explain more about minerals than anything else I've written. But everything I talk about and everything I write about, you know, is all my seven component health protocol. Uh, which is alkaline ionized water, spirulina and chlorella, raw fruits and vegetables. That's all I eat is raw fruits and vegetables. Um, liquid angstrom uh, probiotics and prebiotics, the friendly bacteria, liquid angstrom minerals, vigorous daily exercise. Got to get that one, folks. A lot of people don't want to do that. I do it every day. And then positive mental attitude. Keep this positive up here. Your prayer life, staying close, finding, uh, you know, having a relationship with God. These are all very, very important. Prayer is very, very important. So gold, uh, that's sleep regulations. I take some almost every night before I go to bed. And guess what? I always have, you know, I always remember my dreams when I do that. And then they have something called lucid dreaming where you can really see your dreams extremely well. I never tend to remember my dreams. Some people are really good at that. I'm not. But when I, I do remember them, I, I know I've dreamt a lot. And I sleep later, better and later into the morning when I have gold, liquid angstrom gold. So those are the three main brain minerals um, that you need. And the next one I'll talk about is a little bit different. This one is magtine, magnesium L-threonate. Okay, magnesium L-threonate. So... Um, and I'll put the links of all these things in the in the description here so you can find them all on the website if you want to look at it. But magtine or magnesium l is just incredible stuff. You're, you're going to take this and not feel anything whatsoever. Um, but it is the only kind of magnesium that crosses the brain blood barrier and so it can feed the the brain you look at anybody anybody who's had Alzheimer's and has been autopsied you'll see they have no magnesium you look at us they've done uh, studies on this stupid monkey smart monkey you autopsy the both of them stupid monkey no magnesium in the ma brain smart monkey full of magnesium so it's all about that magnesium so again that has to do with this Alzheimer's and also anybody with seizures um, you know that's called more neurological that's going to help out tremendously I had a person that uh, very very serious seizures uh, you know the really really bad ones and all that kind of stuff and um, and started getting him on the the magtine and uh, magnesium threonate, and it all went away. So I take that every single day, and I never miss. I take it in the morning and then the evening. It's one of my key minerals. And the and the great thing about this is that there's no taste, <laughs> so you can give it to anybody. Very almost not, uh, you know, a lot of magnesium is really hard and awful to take. 
But uh, I, mean, I do offer this. It's a powder, but it's a cheaper way to take it. But I have it in capsules if you need that. So those are your brain minerals, the three main ones I mentioned, and then the magnesium, l And those are all critical, really, to, you know, to your health. And again, I take them uh, practically every single day. I don't want to miss those. But, okay, so those, those are there. Now, as I said, you've got your fats and your acids. So we're talking about minerals so far. Um, let's talk a little bit about fats and acids and what I do with those. And I, this is my own formula, Nutritonic Ultra. And uh, um, I'm really pleased with this. I, I was, I mean, the best product I ever uh, created. And um, I've got it in capsules. And then I have it in uh, sweetened with some uh, some flavoring with stevia, and um, I mean that stuff is tastes really good, and it's obviously fantastic for your brain. Now, what's in there? First of all, alpha GPC. Alpha GPC is the rock star of choline. What is it? Choline. Choline's fats. And now we're into the fats. And um, you know you've got your essential fatty acids uh, that you can get from all sorts of raw fruits and vegetables and nuts. Spirulina has GLA, gamma linolenic acid, essential fatty, and then uh, chlorella has alpha ALA, alpha linolenic acid, and these feed the brain. Uh, then there's DHA. You can get those in. Uh, you get those in um, chia seeds. Um, there's a few other places. There's one type of algae, algae called schisnarium that's a good source for that. I, I sell that. But um, uh, that's just everybody talks about the essential fatty acids. One thing to know about fat is that we, we the, you know, humans and animals can't create fat. fat. All fat comes from the plant world. Um, you know, you look at, for instance, um, you know, fish oil. Well, fish, are, they're not creating you know this oil they're eating the algae and um, and then accumulating it and then you strip it out and you get the oil and then you take that once again as I say that's a middleman just like meat fish eggs and dairy are just a middleman there you know all these animals that we eat they're all vegetarians so a chicken is just eating that or, or a cow is just eating that uh, grass or grain or whatever they're feeding them out there and uh, and then they're turning that into fats uh, they're turning, they're accumulating the fats, and they're turning that into muscle, and then you eat the muscle, and you call that meat, and then you know that's your. It's just a middleman. You may as well go right to the source. That's why I take spirulina and chlorella, uh, two most powerful foods in the world. I take these. Um, you know, that's what happens to have DHA in it, but uh, it's got the schisnarium. But um, uh, you know, you don't need uh, meat, fish, eggs, and dairy strictly for the taste. As a matter of fact, if you take a handful of that, that is going to be all the protein you'll need for that meal. That's 60% protein. When I say a handful, it's a small handful given your size of your hand. So anywhere 10 to 12 tablets are pretty small. You take that and you get all the protein you need. And then if you want to eat meat, fish, eggs, or dairy, they're stri strictly for the taste because they're not going to add anything to these two powerhouses, the strongest foods in the world. Um, so let's get back into the Nutritonic Ultra. So we, uh, on that one, you've got Alpha GPC. This is the rock star of choline. That's a fat. Well, that's going to produce all these immediately translate, transfer and translate into the brain in these acetylcholines. And so this is really, really important because that's what makes your brain work. Um, and um, one other one I'll mention is phosphatidylserine. That's in here too. Phosphatidylserine, another choline, form of choline, and some people just call it PS. But um, this is for focus and concentration. And so um, you know, it also takes down cortisol levels. Cortisol levels are very dangerous for us. This is what happens to you. Uh, you know, when you work out a lot, it's very stressful. You get into a very stressful situation. Cortisol really hurts the body a lot. Well, PS, phosphatidylserine, that will take down those levels of, um, of, of, uh, of, of choline in the body, uh, uh, um, of um, cortisol in the, in, the, in the body. So you, cortisol, very, very dangerous, and phosphatidylserine or PS helps bring that down. So it's really good, but it's focus, concentration. And then the other things that are in here are amino acids. So we've got three of them, mainly, um, three amino acids, and they are uh, triacine, uh, uh, theanine and carnitine. So those three amino acids are what the brain, those are your brain amino acids. So you, again, fats and acids, these are amino acids. So that's what you're going to get your choline, you're going to get your amino acids. And, uh, you know, that's what uh, you're going to need more than anything else. Now, last but not least, you're going to need uh, what vitamin B6. Well, you could take vitamin B6, but the problem with that 
um, is that it takes a long time for uh, a vitamin to get to find an enzyme to convert it so it's bio bioavailable. What's in here is something called P5P. P5P has already been converted. Very powerful stuff. So this is B6 is your brain brain vitamin. So uh, you want that immediately, especially when you want immediate results. What, what, what I, I designed that this is supposed to be. This is the five hour energy of natural health. I mean, you take you take a hit of this in the morning. I mean, when I say a hit, I mean you're talking about maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon at the most, and you just wake right up. I mean, it just feels fantastic. I mean, you want to wake the brain up. I mean, I, you mentioned it. Of course, hydration. I, I wake up in the morning for a big tall glass of water. That's why I wrote my book on water. And then I have another one. You want to f hydrate that brain. That right there will wake you up. People get up in the morning. They reach for a cup of coffee. They reach for a Coca-Cola. They uh, start eating. People get up and they brush their teeth. Or they go to the bathroom and they come in and they, there's their bowl of cereal. You got to hydrate your body before you do anything else. This is your best time to cleanse the body and to get it all, you know, all this junk out of here that doesn't belong. And uh, you know, that's uh, that's. Uh, but instead, people, as I said, you know, they 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 put this junk into their body, and of course, they go for a five-hour energy or one of these energy drinks. This is poison. This stuff is terrible. It should be taken off the market for as many heart attacks as they cause. But um, you know, this is this is your natural five energy. And what you're doing here with this. Okay, you're feeding the brain. You ever notice when uh, maybe you study and you sat there and maybe you're studying in college and you just sat there all day long and um, you didn't do anything and you get to the end of the day, you're just studying, sitting there, and you're exhausted. You can't, you can't just like I, felt I ran 10 miles. In fact, I ran 5 miles yesterday and I'm not nearly as tired as I am now. So what's going on? Well, the brain is just, you've depleted all that energy. See, 85% of the energy you use as a per person is comes from the brain. This is using most of your energy. And then when you get into this really high-end gamma wave, um, um, you know, uh, brain activity where you are, you know, really concentrated and hour after hour and you are creative and you are writing something new or you're making videos or you're doing something, this is the gamma waves and this is going to, just because you plug, you're plug, you plugged in and that brain is going full blast and there's electrical activity and storms, electrical storms going on in there and then you, what are you doing? Well, you're not replacing it with the things that it needs which is this stuff, okay? You need your cholines, you need your, uh, you need your acetylcholines, phosphatidylserines, and amino acids. So if you sit there all day and study with this stuff and every couple hours, two or three hours, whatever, you take a hit of this, um, and again, you could take a couple capsules, um, you know, you'll get to the end and you won't feel tired at all because you're feeding the brain. Because what's happened at the end there, you know, your brain is just depleted of all this stuff. I mean, it just can't uh, handle it anymore. And so, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you're not going to really get anything out of it, uh, you know, having, you know, uh, done that. So, uh, you know, uh, you're just too tired. You're not, you know, you've depleted it. You need to sit down and rest and let the, let the brain regenerate. Well, you're helping it to regenerate much, much quicker when you're feeding it. And this is stuff you want to do it on. I highly recommend that one, obviously. So, you know, and you look at things like depression, you know, it's like serotonin. So serotonin, I uh, talk, you know, that's uh, again in your gut. Well, I, most of the people who have clinical depression, quote unquote, you know, nothing happened to them. They just always depressed. You look at their diet. I, I get, invariably, it's always a junk food diet of something, or just you know, I eat pretty good. You know, let's get down to the brass tacks. What do you really put in your body? You'll just see it's a bunch of cooked foods. There's nothing special about it, and um, I mean, it's just no, there's no raw fruits and vegetables. They're really not rejuvenating themselves and then they have a poor digestive health. So I go back to my probiotics and prebiotics, the fermented foods. I sell a great probiotic actually that has a prebiotic built into it. So um, that's pretty, you know, an amazing product and a just way to, way to think about these things. The prebiotic can help really, um, you know, you know, get the uh, uh, probiotic, you know, fed and get it to proliferate and that's what you want. So having said that, let's talk about some of the herbs for the brain, and uh, without doubt, my favorite herb, I think the best herb in the world, is Makuna. I don't know if you ever heard of this, Makuna prurians. Uh, this comes from, some people call it velvet bean. Uh, it is the only herb in the world that produces HGH. So this is a key to longevity. Very, very important um, to, to make sure your body's still producing HGH at any age, human growth hormone at any age. So, um, you know, that's, 
uh, you know, people don't um, think of it in that way, that uh, they can really, uh, you know, have a long have longevity or what that does. You, you create HGH, um, you create HGH about an hour after REM sleep when you're dreaming and all that, one hour, and then maybe an hour or two. Um, after hard physical workout, lifting weights, really going out and running, then you produce HGH. But you take this right before you get get, get in bed. Now, what's in here? L-dopa in amino acids. So it's the acid it's looking for. L-dopa is what they give to Parkinson patients. Um, I got some people that take this for their Parkinson's, and their Parkinson's are you know, just all but dis disappeared completely. And they're not even on a raw food diet. So, um, Makuna, the most important herb, I take it right before I go to bed. I never miss it. Uh, it's good for any neurological disease, such as Parkinson's, your, all your, uh, your uh, you know, seizures, um, all the neurological diseases, um, you know, any one, the ones that affect your, affect your, um, your, muscular movement and that kind of stuff that often is neuro neurological and this is your this is your go-to this is the the macuna I love it and it should be and everybody's list should be taken every single day I take it in a powder it's not that bad a tasting compared to some of the others but you know uh, I would uh, you know I would take this as I said the best herb in the world bar none um, and then a couple more herbs just to kind of wrap it up here in the next few minutes. Um, so now what do we got is uh, bacopa. And my bacopa is another herb um, and uh, just an amazing herb for focus concentration, for brain health. It does so many different uh, uh, things in the body. Um, and uh, again, what is where do we get? What are we looking for? The bactocides or the bactocylic acid. So the, again, the acid. Where or you'll see any kind of herb that you're going to take for the brain, it's an acid. We're going to talk about a couple more. It's the acid. So uh, bacopa for focus concentration, uh, just for overall brain health. It does uh, you know all sorts of other things in the body, not just for the brain, but bacopa. Not a well-known herb. Same with macuna. Not well known. Um, you could take ashwagandha, but it's not so much the brain. I love ashwagandha. I, mean, I take it every day. But that's not so much the brain um, as these other ones that I'm mentioning. Um, and then, of course, we've got um, <clears throat> rhodiola. Well, let me, before I talk about rhodiola, let me go to one that's a little bit more well-known, ginkgo, ginkgo biloba. And again, what are we looking for? Ginkgo size or ginkgosilic acid, so it's the acid in there. Good. Helps with circulation, helps with memory. Uh, a lot of clinical studies on that. Some companies spent millions of dollars to make sure everybody knew what ginkgo was. And um, it's from the, the tree that smells when it goes into these nuts. You know, it just has an awful smell to it. Uh, beautiful to look at. You just got to watch where you step because it's pretty terrible. But ginkgo, ginkgo, ginkgo biloba is an amazing herb. I take it all the time and great for circulation and get, you know, uh, crossing the brain blood barrier. By the way, just so I'll tell you, um, you know, the only herb we know of that crosses the brain blood barrier quickly and immediately is frankincense. And uh, a lot of people will take frankincense oil and just on their thumb and get the roof of their mouth and it goes right into the brain much more easily. I sell frankincense and, and very powerful anti-cancer properties and just an absolutely amazing uh, herb um, and frankincense and it smells beautiful and it smells like church because um, it's just what it is. One of the herbs they gave to our Lord so it must be pretty important and then gold they gave it to our Lord when he was born our Lord Jesus and so there you go. If it's good enough for him believe me it's good enough for all of us. So and then last of the brain herbs, I'm going to talk about rhodiola. Again, um, it's that acid you're looking in there. Um, it's got a couple of them in there. And um, the roleocides or roleacetic acid. So there's, uh, there's several in all of these, by the way. The more you extract them, you can extract out these acids. It costs more to do that. Um, and uh, the great thing about extracts, I'll tell you, it's really, it's just, there's nothing like like a, a concentrated herb. I mean, you could take tons and tons and tons of this stuff, and then um, in the end, um, you don't get very far at all. You really, you know, it's hard to eat so much of it, whereas you can do an ax this you know acid um, this this extract which is concentrated and they're looking for one particular you know um, you know uh, either well nutrient 
um, or they're looking for some kind of an acid. Um, it could be anything in there. It depends on the plant, whether it's, uh, you know, water soluble, like turmeric, for instance, or whether it's, uh, you know, fat soluble. And so then you got to use some kind of an extraction, like a pro polypropyl or propylene or something like that, propocol. So, um, you know, it depends on the herb, but, um, you know, I'm not an extraction expert. It's quite a uh, quite a world out there of extraction experts and how they extract things, papers, scientific papers that have been written. But, uh, you know, it's the only thing that would become close to this would be a sprout. Sprouts are powerful foods. They're very highly concentrated enzymes, and this is very highly concentrated in its own way. So I do rhodiola. I do it uh, all the time, um, maybe not every single day, but, uh, you know, one of the best herbs you could possibly tell. It has all sorts of... Uh, you know, uses throughout the body, but uh, what are we talking about today? We're talking about just the brain and how to be he brain healthy. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, and um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what I do for my brain and what you I think you ought to do for your brain and how you and how important it is. Because again, if we can't thank guys, then we're in big trouble. You know, you, you, you know, be like uh, this friend of mine whose uh, relative had become, you know, uh, uh, he had dementia and he had crazy ideas about everything, but um, and the guy was physically active. So that was kind of sad to see it. We had to kind of restrain this person from time to time. Um, but at any rate, so you want to stay hydrated. Get up in the morning, stop eating anything, stop doing anything, get up in the morning and, and, and please just, you know, do your do your, uh, do your water. First thing in the morning, I promote alkaline ionized water. That's my biggest selling book right there. The cornerstone of health, water. So uh, very, very important. You gotta stay hydrated all the time. So uh, that's number one. Then we went over the minerals. I, I talked about platinum in the morning. Uh, very good for the brain and then I talked about indium for your pineal gland that's in your brain um, and then I talked about gold for sleep and sleep regulation I talked about iodine for decalcification of the pineal gland very important okay and then I went into my cholines and so well we talked a little bit about fatty acids uh, ALA GLA DHA these are the essential ones but again we can't humans and animals cannot produce fat. We can accumulate fat, but we cannot produce any fat. We don't produce, it all comes from the plant world. I mean, all the fish are just eating the algae and then they're turning, accumulating the fat. That's why if you get the, the fact the farmed fish, there's no essential fatty acids in there at all because they don't feed it any algae. They're feeding it grain and all sorts of other stuff. So it's not good for you to begin with, but then you're not getting any fatty acids out of that farm, uh, far, you know, farm fished uh, farm raised fish that kind of stuff there's just nothing going on there and then we talked about the fats and that's the uh, neutrotonic altar and the fat is of course alpha GPC uh, which is acetylcholines phosphatidylserine that's for focus concentration and uh, you know bringing down your cortisol level is very important we talked about the amino acids that are in it again the acids uh, theanine triacine carnitine very important and then your your b6 that's your brain vitamin by the way my my b6 and my b12 are off the scale um and uh yeah of course as a vegetarian you'll never you can't you have to eat meat to get your b6 and your b12 that's nonsense you get it from spirulina and chlorella don't let anybody tell you a difference there's all sorts of arguments against that that's nonsense uh, you get it from probiotics uh you get it from your body producing the b vitamins it'll produce it by itself you just have you feed yourself the right the right nutrients but uh, B6 and so I said in here we have P5P that is the converted form of B6 so it goes right into the brain so if you want focus concentration take some of this first in the in the morning stay away from the uh, the, the five hour energies and all that stuff and then we talked about the all the different herbs we talked about the Macuna which is the most important herb I could recommend the Bacopa which is amazing stuff most people haven't heard of it the Rhodiola and the Ginkgo so those are my main brain herbs um, and there's some other great ones out there but those are the ones I know the best I hate to just start saying hey uh, this is uh, this is you know the one you should take here or whatever so you know I just tell you these are the ones that I take the ones I know the best and again um, I take them all I take them practically well every day I, I never miss like the neutrotonic altar because I know the importance of the brain I mean I can focus m much more comp uh, you know 
you know, so much better when I'm taking those things. So uh, when I'm doing this throughout the day, I'm, you know, I'm working and everything. Focus concentration is very high um, when I'm doing that. I'll tell you what, another little aside. I go to YouTube or one of these other places, or you rumble, and you can play this background music for gamma, wa gamma waves. So gamma is that's your highest what brain waves. Well, I'm always creating and everything, and I want that. There's, you know, there's alpha waves, beta waves. And there's gamma. Gamma's for sleep. So if you want to, I mean, so gamma's for deltas for sleep. Um, so if you want to go in deep, deep sleep, you, you get your gamma waves. Those are the really long ones. If you want your gamma waves for focus concentration, then you want them way up. They're way way up here, and so they're very short. And they're just taking that brain out and just you're on fire up here when you're you're being creative. You're writing something. You're painting. You're you're giving a speech or whatever you're doing, but. Um, when you're creating something, it's gamma waves. You can. There's all sorts of videos that just have gamma waves in them, and the, sometimes they're in the music, or they just play the gamma wave like that. And your brain will take that, and again, it rises up to that level, that frequency, and so now you're in sync and you're ready to concentrate. Well, don't listen to gamma waves when you go to sleep. That's the, you know, that's the the the, uh, the delta waves. Those are the, they put on that music and. Uh, it, it, Put you right out and make you sleep very well. You know, if you got alpha waves, um, which is kind of when you're really at attention, you're just listening, and I mean, you're kind of actively doing things and everything. Beta is when you're more relaxed, you're sitting and watching. You're watching a play, you're watching a movie, you're watching TV. That's beta, kind of passive. So um, those are kind of the difference. And, and those brain waves, you can get online and kind of look at those. But I always have something going in the background. Um, when I'm studying or anything like that. When I, um, I always have the gamma waves when I'm studying and when I'm creating or when I'm writing anything or doing anything like that. So there you go. Um, that's the brain uh, in a nutshell. And, um, and you know, this is what the, this is my, what I do for my brain. And um, I do it, um, I, well, I'm constantly ca keeping care of it, uh, making sure it's clean, uh, not putting junk in it so I don't get dementia, so you don't get, because that's where it comes from, brain toxicity. And I put that in my book, of course, The Cure in the Mirror, uh, you know, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, by far my best book. And uh, my latest book, uh, half of it is dedicated to the worth, how worthless the medical establishment is where it comes, when it comes to chronic and infectious disease. And then the second health is my cancer protocol exactly what to do if you get cancer, uh, the worst disease we have. I hope this has helped. I hope it's going to help your brain. Um, and I will see you guys. I'm Dr. Bob McCauley, Watershed Wellness Center. We're at watershed.net. If you ever want to go to our website, shop.watershed.net. Uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Watershed 11 or Dr. Bob McCauley. And um, I, hope, I hope you get something out of this. And I God bless you all. And thank you so much for listening. You guys have a great one. Hey folks, check out all my books on Amazon.com. Uh, I've written seven books now, uh, but this one's on Audible, Silver, the Miracle Mineral, End of Infectious Disease, uh, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer, that's on Audible, and then my most popular book, I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years, never promoted it, never marketed it. It is the Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. Third edition, I revamped the whole thing. It's on Audible too. So those are all read by the author's voice, my voice, and I hope you like them.